Hello, my name is Jonathan Biznet, and in this video, the circuit I have for you uses a silicone controlled switch, very similar to an SCR, but it actually has an additional lead. Uh, let me show you uh, the schematic for it here, and I will attach this uh, at the uh, uh, base of the uh, video description. But in it, you'll see we have our silicone controlled switch, or SCS. I'm using an ECG239, but there are other ones out there, as an example, a 3N58, uh, and that type of thing. And really, what this has is, in this sense, this lead here, again, is much like the gate on an SCR. It's a cathode gate. You can see, of course, our cathode going to ground, and of course, our anode coming up here through the resistor to positive 5 volts. And the way you turn this on is basically we press this button here, which takes uh, the ground potential away from this cathode gate and actually gives it a positive potential, which will turn on the SCR. And then to turn it off, uh, what we actually do is press this other button here, the off button, which interrupts um, the circuitry here, uh, interrupts the main line through the SCS. Uh, it takes this point to ground, thus shorting the uh, the switch out. Now you might think this is a little odd, and I did too when I first encountered it, but the, um, the load, which in this case is nothing more than an LED, the load is actually in the anode gate. Uh, this is the other gate I was talking about on this SCR. And the reason it's here is because this could be a motor, could be something else, and you're not looking to cut it out directly. What you're looking to do is turn off the switch and then have that, in essence, interrupt or turn off the, the motor. So it's actually contained in the anode gate. Uh, there may be other ways of doing this, I don't know, but this is the circuit I encountered, and after playing with it a little bit and making a few minor adjustments, uh, this is... Uh, this one works uh, very well. Uh, I did find a few cases where uh, some of the pieces were connected a little differently, but this works uh, perfectly at this point. So I'm going ahead to provide. I'm going to go ahead and provide this circuit. Uh, but to give you a demonstration, here's a piece here, and here's our on switch. On goes our LED. Here's our off switch. LED goes off. Very simple circuit. I know it's similar to one I built previously, but this one's actually using an SCS rather than an SCR uh, to do it. And you'll also see if you happen to watch that other video on the SCR, I'm using a very specific model and I'm exploiting something that probably wasn't necessarily intended for that purpose, but nonetheless I was able to do it. This one though is using the switch and using a silicone controlled switch in a standard manner in which it was intended. Uh, to give you an idea, you'll see here, this is the, uh, this is a diagram of what in essence occurs within the SCS. You're really looking at two uh, transistors, and this is the, the gate cathode, and this is where you initially apply a positive voltage, which will in essence turn on this NPN transistor, and when this turns on, it will pull the base of this PNP transistor low, which will turn it on and cause this to become a continuous cycle. The two keep each other on. Where things deviate is this is that anode gate I was talking about that doesn't normally exist on an SCR. And with this anode gate, basically this is where my load resides. And if I interrupt the flow of current through here and I fall below the holding current, this will turn off and in essence shut down this circuit that's driving my load. So this is a silicone controlled switch. I know this is a, an older technology and certainly not recommended for new designs and things like that, but for those that are interested in how it works, uh, this is an example and uh, I would encourage you to build the circuit. Thank you for watching.